Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today's June 14th, 2018. And uh, I wanted to put together a little video here and share with you some information about flooding in the end times. There are scriptures that talk about this and why we are seeing so much flooding around the world. And uh, I've been sharing so many places in the world that have been flooding. And uh, so I'm just going to go through some posts on my Facebook page here and uh, share these different places with you. And you're going to see just over the last couple days how many places are being flooded out. So here we have uh, Germany. This is Germany. This is France. This is hail and flooding in Serbia. Pretty amazing how the street is just flooded out. And this is crazy. This is Lebanon. Lebanon. This is France. This is Mexico. This is uh, after Hurricane Bud came through the southern portion off the off of the Pacific into Mexico. This is Turkey. Isn't this crazy? All these places. Cars are just are being pushed around. This is Lebanon again, just a different take on that other video. Crazy. This is Serbia again, just a different view. on what we saw earlier. And look at this, Israel. Boy, isn't this crazy? Israel. This is Austria. I haven't counted all the countries and this is just uh, just the beginning here now look at this uh, this was the same location Austria but look at the way the the uh, storm came in they actually described this as a tsunami from the heavens Tsunami from the heavens, that's the way this was described in Austria, in the news there. A tsunami from the heavens. Look at that. Just the way it got dumped out. Can you imagine? This is France. This is Switzerland, Lausanne, Switzerland. Just the whole mall is getting. Getting flooded.
Okay, so that was pretty much everything there. Now I want to share some scriptures with you real quickly. I went and I I reposted all of these on my Facebook page so I could have them all together. If you want to uh, check that out, come find me on Facebook, Steve Fletcher. And uh, let's look at some scriptures here. Let me pause this a second. Okay, so if we do a search in the Bible of the word flood, there are 35 results. And um, we know that uh, Jesus said that the coming of the Son of Man will be as in the days of Noah. And so we know that the world is not going to be judged by flooding alone. It's not going to be like the flood in the sense of, of a worldwide flood like it was in the days of Noah. But we are told that the coming of the Son of Man will be as in the days of Noah. So flooding in different places all around the world is to be expected. But there's many other things that are spoken of in the Bible about flooding that I wanted to bring to your attention. And you can search this for yourself too by just putting in the word flood and seeing there are only 35 different results. And you can study about this for yourself. Now let's take a look at a couple things here. In Psalm 90, starting in verse 5, it says, Thou carriest them away as with a flood, they are as a sleep. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourisheth and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withereth. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Jeremiah 47, 2. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, waters rise up out of the north, shall be an overflowing flood, shall overflow the land and all that is therein, the city, them that dwell therein. Then the men shall cry, and all the inhabitants of the land shall howl. The Lord is definitely trying to get everyone's attention at this time. Very important passage in Daniel chapter 9, especially as we are watching the 70 weeks of Israel, the 70 year anniversary of Israel. Right here in Daniel chapter 9, as it talks about the 70 years, it says, After three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince who shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. And the end thereof shall be with a flood. And until the end of the war, desolations are determined. So right here, as we're talking about the 70-week prophecy, it talks about the time of the end, and it says there will be floods. The end thereof shall be with a flood. See, this is connected to the timing of the end of the 70-week prophecy. We are right here. We are watching the, this prophecy, 2018, this, the 70-year anniversary of Israel, and it all has to do with flooding. Now here in Daniel 11, it talks about flooding, and then it goes on to talk about the peace deals. The peace deals that are happening right now, and this has to do with this timing of the flooding. It says in verse 22, With the arms of a flood shall they be overthrown from before him and shall be broken, yea, also the prince of the covenant. After the league is made with him, he shall work deceitfully, for he shall come up and shall become strong with a small people. 
he shall enter peaceably even upon the fattest places of the province. He shall do that which his fathers have not done, nor his father's fathers. He shall scatter among them the plunder and spoil and riches. Yea, and he shall plot his devices against the strongholds even for a time. And so we are watching this week, especially leading up to the Israel peace deal that may be revealed on the summer solstice. And look at this connection to the peace deal and flooding. In Nahum 1, 8, But with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemies. What do you contrive against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. Flooding and the end. He will make an utter end by flooding. Another connection to what we are watching right now also tied together with the 70 week prophecy is the nine months since the Revelation 12 sign. And here we are in Revelation chapter 12 and it talks about the serpent being cast out of his mouth, the serpent casting out of his mouth water as a flood. This is part of the Revelation 12 sign process. Starting in verse 15, the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood. And the earth helped the woman and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. The dragon was wroth with the woman and he went to make war with the remnant of her seed who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of of Jesus Christ. The other day I shared in in my video and I will give the links to those my last two videos as we're leading up to uh, the summer solstice, the 9 month marker from the Revelation 12 sign. I, I shared with you about the ring of fire and how the ring of fire is connected to the childbirth. And I shared this. This is the labia and perineum, the area between the vagina and the rectum, eventually reach a point of maximum stretching. Some childbirth educators call this the ring of fire because of the burning sensation felt as the mother's tish tissues stretch around the baby's head. And so we have the ring of fire. And inside the ring of fire is Hawaii. And we have this all connected to the birthing process. The ring of fire. And it's even this area here. The center point being Hawaii. And now the, the, the whole ring of fire is being activated. We've got volcanoes up in Alaska and Guatemala and Chile, Indonesia. And there's just this whole area is being activated. And it's like there's this sign that is being uh, given that the birthing process. And, and this is also connected to the flooding and the Revelation 12 sign and how it's all connected to flooding. And why is the Revelation 12 con sign connected to flooding? Because it has to do with the, with the breaking of the water. It's the birthing process. It's the ring of fire and it's the breaking of the water. And we've got flooding going on all over the world as a sign that the water is breaking and the birthing is about to happen. So this is a definite sign with all the flooding that's taking place. I've seen a lot of bad things over the years as I've been watching the signs of his return. But 
I don't think in the five years that I've been watching that I have seen so many places all at once being flooded out. And this has to do with the time of the end. Just as I shared with you from those scriptures, just as we see with the, with the birthing process, the ring of fire and the breaking of the water. So my last two videos, very important, very important videos. The first one was birth pangs, peace and safety, ring of fire. This. Summer at the doors and all the things that are happening around the world and the peace and safety agreements. This is the connection to the ring of fire and the birthing process, all tied to the summer solstice, the nine months from the Revelation 12 sign. And then today I shared about the Israel peace plan may be revealed on the summer solstice because the news came out that over the next week, they're going to be traveling to Israel Trump's team with Kushner and another of a number of other representatives from from Trump's administration are going to be traveling to Israel to prepare the peace plan. And so a week from now is the summer solstice. And that's the way the news came out. So very important information that is connecting us to this time. So. All of this is there's it's so important to watch all of this. We've got the we've got the year of Jubilee, connection to Pentecost, we have the 70 year anniversary of Israel, we have the Revelation 12 sign, and it's just it's it's all so 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 deep. And the signs are extensive like never before. So uh, this is what I wanted to share tonight about the flooding. And I pray everyone is blessed and uh, have a wonderful night. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed. <laughs>